What's up everybody? So today in this video, I'm gonna give you a really short, simple, sweet tutorial on how to track expenses in Airtable and also give you some reporting on those expenses because I know that's some good data that you might want to have. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you, help them optimize their information systems. So that's stuff like Airtable for asset management or CRM, Slack for communications, Asana for project management, Zapier to connect all the systems and automate a bunch of processes. And if you're interested in services, you can check out the link in the description and request a consultation from me. And we can get on a call and talk about what you want to happen in your business, what processes you want to improve, what workflows you want automated. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. Here you can see I already created this basic accounting database. And I'm sort of just going to walk you through how you might want to go about creating a just an expense log for you and your business, for you and your personal life as well. So I know there are some integrations that you can get where it pulls your like bank account data and it pulls it into a spreadsheet, like just like well, a database like Airtable or a spreadsheet like Google Sheets. But for this, we're using Airtable. So it, you really want to think about this dynamically as a relational database because all of these different tables are going to be linked or at least each of these tables will be linked with at least one other table. So this here we have the tables up here at the top. So we have expenses, we have revenue, and we have monthly profits and losses. So that the monthly profits and losses is the nice reporting that I wanted to show you. But for us, we're just going to be going through expenses. So the expenses that we have, we have a few different views over here. So one important thing to know about these tables up here. So there's tables at the top, and each table has a data set. So all of the data in that table can be viewed in different views. Now each of these views has the same data set, but some might only have a subset of that data through using filters. This one has no filters, so we can see the total amount of records in this, which is a record is like this going across here. That is one of, like this is one record, so there's 36 records in this table. Now if we wanted to filter this down to only a subset that matched certain conditions, we can see there's three records. But when you create these different views, you're seeing the same information, just a subset of it, like filtered or uh, shown differently. So if you want to hide some of these fields, you can, or group differently. Like if you want to group it by the different expense type, which I'll get into, uh, sort, color, etc., etc., etc. So for the expense table, what we have here is we just have a very simple expense table, and this I made this very accessible through the use of a form. So I'll show you that form in a second, but basically we're just keeping track of the, the transaction title. And so if you add a field and make it, customize it and make it a single line text, that'll just give you one line of text. You can just really put whatever in there. So if you're a business, you might have expenses similar to this. Uh, and then amounts, that's just always good to keep in there. And one great thing that Airtable allows you to do is you can change the field type and make this very customizable. So you can make it a currency uh, that way you can actually like see it like as an expense and you can change it to your currency if you're not from the US. I, I also have the transaction date in here. So this is like what date I paid that. So some of these don't have uh, some of these don't have a transaction date on them, such as like tuition interest and they also don't have an amount. But those those kind of things would be accounts payable. And I'll show you how to really do that here in a little bit, how to separate your expenses that you've already paid and accounts payable and then also how to forecast those uh, with the monthly profits and losses. So then I really like to have something like this, just a really simple single line text to show me, okay, these are the different like buckets that my expenses are going into. So for me, it might be software and tech, administrative, business development, other, and staff. So that would be everything, like all of the buckets, and you can really think about that for you and your business. Maybe that's like marketing, software and tech, uh, business development, and yeah, like ad administrative, that kind of stuff. Uh, so that that's that, just, just a single line text. And when you add that, you can come in here and just add other options. You can press X to remove the existing options in there, and you can make it look very nice for you. So now this right here is the expense month. So. What this is doing is you can you can actually take this formula and copy it word or like letter for letter, uh, assuming that you have this field right here. If you have this field, your date field, name, transaction date, you can copy this letter for letter. 
and if you just pause the video now you can copy that and paste that in in there for you and this is really useful because this is a, what allows you to do the reporting so if you copy that i'm not going to like spend a ton of time explaining the formula but it basically just formats that date just with the month and the year and what you can do then is when that date is not empty you can set up just a really simple automation to basically what you're gonna what it would do in here and i'll make sure i'm in the right table here so this one is the right table so when a record met and the expenses matches certain conditions so it's like whatever conditions basically all you need to say is the transaction date is not empty and then the expense month link is empty because that's what you're going to be linking it to and then for the rec for the action you're just going to update that record and you're going to say in the expenses table you're going to paste that record id in there from step one and then you're going to paste in, in there the expense month so this field right here that formula into the expense month link that way all of this happens really automatically saves you a ton of time and it gives you some automated reporting so what this allows you to do is then you just start keeping track of all of your different expenses you can come over here and create a view and you can filter it by like making the transaction date empty or making like was this paid yet I uh, have like a checkbox if you want to insert like a checkbox in here you can come in here and insert one to the right and say a checkbox and this will add it in both uh, views just it'll add it to this table so you can like make it to where that checkbox is unchecked or wh whatever that looks like to make sure you're paying your bills on time you can add like a, a due date instead of a transaction date or whatever whatever really works best for you you can keep track of those dates in here but I just wanted to show you it's very easy to set up the basic the basic transaction title, the amount, the date, what kind of type it was. So you can do some uh, forecasting and you can really look at where, where your money's going in your business uh, for the future months. So once you set all of that up and you set up that automation, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to your monthly profits and losses. And I'm going to, like this one is the cost breakdown. So this is a little bit more complicated, um, but we're just going to go to the profits and losses. So I'm going to hide this field right here because you don't need to see the um, the profits, the revenue, because that's not what this video is about. And you also don't need to see this field. So if you just take a look here, you'll see this is very similar to what was in this formula field right here for the expense month. But this is these are just the months. So this is what it's linking to. And so you can see all the different expenses per month. And then it... If you use a roll up formula here, you can roll up the where in the accounts payable table, which was the expenses is now the expenses table. Um, you can roll up the actual costs and you can just sum the values that match the conditions that they're like paid already, basically. So that's how you can see some of these costs. And then what that will allow you to do is then you can like if you have some that are set up by when it's due, then you can add those in there and then for see what your forecast is. So I can see like for February, these are, this is basically gonna be my expenses that I know of. And for January, these were my expenses. December, these were my expenses. November, these were expenses, et cetera, et cetera. So that's really, that. that's some of the reporting that you can do. And then, as I said earlier, we had those different types. So those different types of costs. So like here's a roll up of just the tech costs, just the staff costs, just the administrative costs, just the business development costs. And these are some advanced uh, roll ups here. So I'm not gonna really get into those right now. But if you're interested in having any of this set up, maybe the monthly profits and losses, the expenses, the revenue sheets set up for you and your business, you can request a consultation from me down in the description and we can get on a call and talk about what you need set up for you and your business. But if you want to see the full breakdown of all three of these tables, you can check out this video on the end screen right here and it'll show you some simple, uh, this simple accounting database, but it'll go into every single thing in this database, the expenses and the revenue, and you can see it set up uh, for a real business. So I hope you had a, have a great day and I'll see you in that end screen. Just go click right there and I'll see you there.